northern Manitoba, where the boreal forest ends and the tundra begins. Some of the last true wilderness left in the world. It is here that my father has brought me for a very special fishing trip. We're at Gangler's North Seal Lodge. A five-star lodge with some of the best fishing possible in Canada. It's here that my father is going to introduce me to one of the most visually exciting ways to fly fish. Casting topwater flies, for giant northern pike. With these water wolves, there is no subtle sip or delicate take. They stalk, pursue, and attack with extreme violence. It's fun beyond words. Come join my father and I as we experience some of the best top water pike fishing on a fly. Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to Travel Manitoba Orvis Sporting Traditions Since I was a little girl, my father and I have loved fishing together. Now as an adult and a student at university, my time with my father means more and more to me. Which is also why this week is so very special. My father and I have traveled to the very far north of Canada, in the province of Manitoba, to Gangler's Lodge. This five-star luxury lodge is hundreds of miles from any road and is only accessible by plane. Ganglers is situated in over 7,000 square miles of pristine wilderness and waterways. The fishery is nothing short of epic, with trophy northern pike, walleye, lake trout, and even Arctic grayling. Our host, Ken Gangler, whose family has been in this business for over 30 years, explained why people love the services here and why the fishing has brought them back year after year. What anglers can expect is, is first off, an outfitting operation, warm, personalized, and dedicated to each angler is different, and with all the boats and motors we have here on all these different lakes, we have 108 uh, boats spread out over our 5 million plus acres. There's so many options, and what we do is we work with, with our guests 
because everyone's different. Everybody wants something different out of their trip. And we worked with each one each day because what people want changes by the day to ensure that they're going to get the quality trip they want and the access to the watershed that they came up here hoping for. Today we have boarded a float plane and headed to a lake with a good population of walleye and pike. We spent the first part of the day casting flies in three to five feet of water and caught well over a hundred walleye. It was truly insane. But then my father suggested we change things up and try some topwater flies to see if we could find some pike near the weed edges. That was a good idea. So I hooked a pike on a popper and we were just slow retrieve right along the, the water line there and came up and tuck it. He's fighting me pretty hard and tried to get back into the reeds, but it's important you keep them out of the reeds because that's where you're gonna lose your fly and the fish. Thanks, Stretch. Well, our first day has come to an end, and it was fantastic. Tomorrow we are heading to another lake that is famous for shallow water pike fishing. and I am so excited. Stay with us. Today we are off to another lake and on another adventure. According to owner Ken Gangler, this lake is renowned for excellent shallow water pike fishing. Our guide, George, quietly motored us along the shoreline, casting large eight-inch topwater flies near the banks. What happened next is nothing short of amazing. Angler had told me they had excellent fly fishing. But this was beyond what I had expected. 
there's fly fishing and there's fishing streamers and bunny bugs, which is awesome. You see the fish come at it, but there's nothing more exciting than sitting there and working a popper or a mouse on the surface and all of a sudden have the water absolutely explode on you. And, and not only once, but several times. I mean, I, I love it when the cabbage beds come up particularly and those fish will come vertical out of eight feet of water with that thing in its mouth. There's nothing that is more exciting or gets you going, gets the blood pumping like a pike hit in top water. It did not seem to matter what top water pattern we cast. The pike slammed them all. Mice patterns. Poppers. Deer hair sliders. They all met the same fate. It was so much fun. Fighter, oh, the retrieval pattern that we've been using is short strips and pauses in between. It really seems to be attracting the fish. Wow, nice size. They're really just hammering the fly. Yeah, I saw that tail. Yeah. It was a big tail. That's a good fish. It was an amazing take. Now you know why little mice and ducklings and everything else get eaten around here. Big predators like this. Wow. Oh yeah, that's a good fish, Jenna Rose. That could be the fish of the day. Control his head if you can. If he wants to run, let him run, sweetheart. Okay. It's a big, thick one. Other they get bring the other side, Jenna. This way, Senior Pike. This must have been one of the ones we saw earlier. Oh, so now you're swimming away. Sorry, George. Ooh, trying to get it, keep his head up. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't as big as I thought it was, but it's still big. Well done, Jenna. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Show us George. some fish there, George, quick. All too quickly, the day was over, and it was time to fly back to the lodge. Tomorrow, we are off to another amazing new lake known as the Aquarium. This is a place where you can see giant pikes swimming everywhere. Stay with us. It is another beautiful day, and I could barely sleep last night thinking about the fishing to come. Today, Ken Gangler has sent us to a wonderful lake. That has lots of large pike 
that are cruising around the shallow flats hunting. This is a true topwater fly fisher's dream. But it would not be possible if we didn't have access to a float plane on a daily basis. This is one of the reasons why this lodge is so special. When we first arrived, my father and I went into shock. Everywhere we looked, there were trophy-sized pike cruising around. They were there for one reason. Suckers. The white suckers in the lake had come into these crystal clear bays and shallows to spawn. But that made them easy targets for the marauding pike. After our initial shock of seeing so many trophy pike in crystal clear water, it didn't take long for us to get down to business casting top water flies. The rods that we are using to cast these big pike flies are fast action, 9 and 10 weights. You need a stiffer rod with a tip flex to turn over some of the larger flies we are casting, especially if there is wind. To this rod, we have married a quality large arbor reel with a solid drag. You don't need an expensive reel with a saltwater type drag, but a quality system is best. It is critical that you bring a pike-specific floating fly line that has a taper made for casting large, wind-resistant flies. Sometimes the pike would refuse our offering, or just boil beneath the surface. But that just made it more exciting. I had a little buck fever and sometimes I was too anxious. and pull the fly away at the wrong moment. Like our trip yesterday, it was literally trophy fish after fish. Up and, oh, this is so exciting. Here, George. Thank you. That just amazing. Beautiful. Just beautiful. a fighter it was amazing the take and we just fished right to it he was right beside the boat and it was amazing to watch him just come up and snatch it oh yes who says pike don't fight <coughs> look at that water oh he's wrapped a bit now poor guy there we go 
All right, Jenna Rose, well <laughs> that done. That was just amazing, being able to sight cast to the fish and twitch the fly and see the fish come up and grab it and just, it's absolutely indescribable, it's beautiful. I am kicking my dad's ass, yes. Twitch it, twitch it, twitch it. Get it, sit. You got him. There you go, Jenna, your last yeah. fish. Now I'd get your line on the reel. It's a bigger fish than you think. And because of all the stuff down there. <laughs> last fish ah. of the trip. Excellent. Wow. <laughs> and what's amazing is Jenna went by, I don't know, 12 fish just driving across this bay on our way to go get the plane to go home. It's the end of our trip, had a great time, but Jenna <laughs> just said, I want one more fish. And so she's been casting two a few of them, oh, a few of them kind of looked, and then she got this one. There we go. Oh, excellent. All right, Jenna. Just as the plane is coming in. Sadly, the float plane arrives, which signals the end of our day and also our time here at Gangler's Lodge. We have had so much fun sharing time together in the evenings and of course on the water. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is for a family to fish together, especially in a wonderful place like this. Thanks for joining us on our special journey and to learn more about this location or our series, go to our website. The new Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to Travel Manitoba Orvis Sporting Traditions 